How much is this changing your tech stack? Oh, it's completely changed. So like, like give us um, some we literally cancelled our remaining Unity licenses this week because we haven't used it in a year. Well, like, to build to, to develop. Yeah, we're building HTML5 native games using an AI tech stack. We use we use agents basically for the code generation, a lot of open source tooling and like there's no no need for legacy tools like Unity, all our asset creation. Mm. Has so if we break it down for everybody, because yeah. it can go quick with people who get this versus others. Yeah. You have asset creation, you mean like the like images, the sprites, all that kind of stuff. stuff. All yeah. of that stuff is basically 100% AI now. Okay. So in 2023, at the beginning of the year, I said, I want 50% of our output to be AI generated by the end of the year. I actually hit that goal in May of 2023. And by middle of last year, it was pretty much 100% AI. We're now getting to the point where our code is... 90%, 95% AI as well. And yeah, all of the images, the audio, the animations, anything that's like player facing uh, visual creative assets is all AI. And so, what tool would you use to create? Is it stuff that other else can get or are you actually having to go and like customize a lot of we've stuff? We've customized a lot. So yeah. we have an internal pipeline we call Nexus. Nexus is a combination of stuff that's publicly available. Um, so we use foul for inference. I think some of the stuff is based off stable diffusion as well, but a lot of it's custom yeah. tooling and custom agents. And so we've been demoing some of this stuff behind closed doors. Running on the cloud? Yeah. And so some of our investors have been like, hey, you should commercialize this. And I'm like, that is a whole other business. That's not something you just do on the side. Give it's- me the money. <laughs> we'll find the people and we're going to create another company. That's uh yeah, I have enough headaches just running one company right now. So it's not really something is, is, to do. Because I think that maybe you could ask this one too, because I think a lot of people look at the hyperscaler spends, the GPUs, all this nutty business, and then certain enterprise stuff are going, when are we gonna see the payoff? Do you yeah. already see the payoff? Yeah, we're seeing the payoff already. Yeah. So I think look, if you're a mega company and you have a lot of people that are resistant to using AI and you're forcing it top down and there's kind of like you know, light chat GPT usage or Claude usage here and there, you're not going to see any impact, right? But if you... Other than spending more money on licenses, probably. Yeah, <laughs> all you, oh, yeah some marginal stuff, right? But if you re- really set your org up to be AI native and you have people that are fully aligned and bought in, then it works. That actually was one of the advantages of being in Asia and being in Singapore specifically is that I find that people here are more open to different business models or different technologies. Oh, I would not have thought uh, of that. Yeah, like Europeans especially, and you know, I'm from Europe, right? And like very anti-AI and like, I mean, you look at the I'm going to keep drawing these things. Yeah, and I want to regulate the shit out of this. Like, that, that's what I want to say. <laughs> the good and for bad in Europe, they like regulations and yeah. they like to stick to it. Yeah. They're not, everyone have his own pains, yeah? But yeah. they are like, give me the regulation, I'm going to follow it. So... People hear a lot less squeamish about AI. The only thing that we encountered is that a couple of our employees, because we like everyone to be very outward facing with what they're building, but like we build in public. And a couple of them were like, well, I don't really want to share it because then my friends will like give me abuse on the internet. Because they're using so much AI stuff yeah. to do it? Well, one guy's, one of the employees is European, but yeah, it was like, well, I'm not comfortable sharing this because I, all my friends from back home will literally like abuse me and stuff. So yeah, it's quite an interesting observation.